Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We thank God, amen, for those who are joining us on this morning, for those who are on Facebook, and for those who are on YouTube. We thank you for joining us on this morning. This is Chain Breaker, where our pastor is Pastor Anthony, and our first lady is First Anthony. Amen. We thank God, amen, for you joining us, because we know there could be a whole lot of things that you can be doing, but you're coming by to see, hear words from God. And God does have a word for the house, amen. Amen. He does have a word for the house. I think about all the things that Jesus had to go through. And I think about the times that he suffered. You know, there was two, we was teaching and learning this morning in Sunday school how, his, how he was be, being beaten and how he, they couldn't recognize him. Amen. You know, we step on the, on the nail or hit our toe on the bed and we don't want to come to church. Amen. <laughs> we start complaining. Amen. But he suffered for us. Suffer that we can be here on today to just to lift up our hands and say thank you, Lord. To be and say, Lord, I appreciate you for what you have me, glory to God. Yes, Lord. Or our mind has to be renewed, glory to God. So we don't have to complain, but that we can appreciate what He have us, oh glory to God. Or we may have, have to go through some things. We may have to suffer some things. But glory to God, there's nothing like what He had to go through, amen. We are still yet grieving, glory to God. We still yet, glory to God, have a chance him, to get it right, glory to God. And I thank God that he went to the cross. I thank God that he took all that beating. I thank God that he went through all that he went to. And he said, well done, glory to God. It is finished. It is finished. So that means he has done everything that he needed to do so we can be what he wanted us to be. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we are blessed and highly favored by our Lord and our Savior. Blessed and highly favored. Glory to God. Hey, blessed and highly favored. We got to learn what blessings are. Hey, Amen. Because the world wanted to teach us what blessings. You all may be seated. Because the world is trying to teach us how we are blessed. The world wants us to understand and try to show us how we are blessed. We begin to grab a hold to things thinking that we are blessed. Amen. Those things are good things. But Solomon even said, the wisest man on the earth and the richest man that will ever live on this earth. said, all those things are vanity if you're not connected to the living God. All those things are vanity. You can have the largest house and 20 of them, 100 of them, glory to God. You can be a millionaire or a trillionaire. But if you don't, if you're not connected to our Lord and Savior, the way he said be connected, Hey, not just inside the church, not just going to church day to day, amen, putting a, putting a suit on, and putting a tie on, putting your fine linen on, glory to God. It takes more than just that. It takes a relationship, a relationship with your Lord and your Savior. And then it has to be a relationship that you love. You know, not just going to church, but loving his statutes, whether it's his statue, his ways, whether it's his ways. We want to see his ways just look at Jesus. Open up our Bible and begin to look at the way Jesus walked. Amen. Look at what he did. Glory to God. Even when he was on the cross, he didn't think about himself. He looked down and told Peter, he said, told, he told Peter, told the, the disciples, see my mother. He wanted him to take care of his mother. Then he told his mother, see my son. He wanted her to take care of his son. Glory to God. Thinking about somebody else. Why are you even on the cross? Woo! Why are you still on the cross hanging? Glory to God and suffering the pain of the nails in your hands. Still, still thinking about somebody else. Not thinking about yourself, glory to God. But thinking about somebody else. Going to the cross saying, Lord, your will be done. Going, glory to God. His will been done. Amen. Glory to God. We're going to be reading from Psalms 119 talking about being blessed. And that being blessed is with a question mark. Amen. We want to know what being blessed truly is. Come Amen. On, Come on. Glory to God. Because the world has a standard of being blessed. Yeah, Prosperity. Yeah, Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Having the fine things of life. Glory to God. But we know many people who have committed suicide, men millionaires. Right. Glory to God. Having everything that you can ever desire. Amen. But committed suicide. Why? Because they did not have the things that God said what blessings are. Yeah. 
Right. Hallelujah. It takes more than just things. Hallelujah. On, it up. takes a relationship, a committed relationship to walk according to the ways of heaven. Yeah. We're going to begin the reading. Amen. I left my glass in the car, but we're going to read. And it says, Blessed are, blessed are the undefiled in the ways who walk in the law of the Lord. Yeah. So Amen. bless. Bless. If you go to the Concordance, it says that the state of, uh, it's a state of prosperity, happiness that comes when a superior gives his favor, gives his blessings. Yeah. Now I know I can go to my job and, you know, I can go to my supervisor and, you know, ask for a raise. Yeah. And that's, that's a blessing that yeah. I just got the raise. Yeah. But this is the raise that he's talking about here. And I can go, you know, and I can go acquire a house. That's a blessing. But it's the blessing that he's talking about here. Yeah. I can go and, and, and get married and have a wife and have a husband. You can, you can have a husband. That is a blessing. Yeah. But this is the blessing that he's talking about here. No. Glory to God. He says the blessings from your superior. When you get your, when your superior is your Lord and your Savior. When your superior, glory to God, is Jehovah God, glory to God. When your superior is one who has that created the heavens and the earth. When your superior can give you all that your heart desire. Yeah. When your superior is God, glory to God. Hey. Oh, that you know that you have been blessed. Yes, sir. He says over in John 14, 27. He says, my peace did I give. Not like the world gives. That's right. He said his peace. His not peace. like the world gives. Now the world gives us a peace that, you know, we can, we, we have those things. We acquire those things. And yeah. everything is going well. Glory to God. That's a peace. Glory to God. But what about if you lose that house? What about if you lose that car? What about if your wife begin to act delirious? What if your husband begin to act crazy? Or did you still have your peace? Glory to God. But when you connect it, hallelujah, to the superior glory to God, that he created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. That peace will not be destroyed, glory to God. But as he goes on and say in John 14, not as the world giveth. Let not your heart be troubled, yeah. neither be afraid. Mm, yeah. He says, let not, not let your heart be troubled, glory to God. Because now those things that you call peace, glory to God, is going through, taking you through some situations, taking you through some heartache, glory to God. You're going through some pain because of those things, glory to God. But you can still have peace. You can still, glory to God, be in a place that you're blessed and highly favored when you're connected to God, glory to God. Because he said his peace that he give, not like the world gives, oh, glory to God. Yeah. The world can take away the, the peace that they give you, glory to yeah. God. But the peace that God gives you, oh, it cannot be taken away. Because you know at the end of the day, glory to God, all is well. Because you connected uh, to your God, glory to God. And his word, glory to God, gives us strength. Oh, when you grab a hold to his word. Yeah. And it takes you to another place outside of your situation. Yeah. It takes you to a place that you're above your situation. Yeah. Everything that you're going through, glory to God. The trials and tribulations that you're experiencing at that very moment. The things that just seem like it's about to overtake you, glory to God. You're connected to a God that says, my peace I give you. Yeah. Not like the world gives, glory to God. So then when you hold on to that peace, yeah. hallelujah. Because we understand, glory to God. He is a, he is he that has given us life. Life, glory to God. He said, I give you life. And not just like the world gives. I give you life, abundant life. Abundant. Not just to live here, just to go day by day, just to exist, do the day by day. But I give you abundant life. That abundant life, glory to God. Hallelujah. Surpasses your natural ability. Yeah. Of what you can never think. When you hold on to him, his peace. And then it goes on. The next verse, it says, blessed are the undefiled. Blessed are the undefiled. Glory to God. Now I got to know what this undefiled is. <laughs> he says the undefiled. When you have integrity, your integrity is inside of him. When you stay inside of him, his word lives inside of you. And his word continues keeping you in a place that your mind stays on him. Your mind stays in the place. Lord, I'm going to stay on a direct path. That, that narrow path that you told me to stop on. Stay on that narrow path. When you have truth, what is truth we talked about even last week? Truth is that what God said what his truth is. His word does not change day by day. The, the people may be evolving, but God's word stays true. It's the truth from the beginning. It's going to be the truth to there is no more of us. Glory to God. His truth, staying in truth, 
Then it goes on to say, without blemish. He says, I will receive those without blemish. Mm. What is without blemish? When your heart is pure. Yeah. When your heart is sense, Lord, I just want to be right by you. Mm. Lord, I don't care what else I do, Lord. I just want my rightness, my upright to be inside of you. When I'm connected to you, God, I don't care what the world say. The world may be talking about me tomorrow. The world may misunderstand what I'm saying. But, God, I want my life to be inside of you so I can be who you may say and call me to be there, though. Why don't you say that you're shaping it and molding me as I continue seeking you, as I continue having the more desire for you? Mm -hmm. He says, glory to God, we have that peace. Yeah. Without blemish, we want to be that person without blemish. We want to be that person who walks upright before God. If we walk upright before God, glory to God that we will walk up right before man. Mm -hmm. If our desire is to walk up right before God, it will, yes. then we will continue dying to those things that God revealed to us. Mm -hmm. Glory to those things that we thought when we was doing right. Those things that we thought that we had it all together. Glory to God. We will continue saying, Lord, your will be done that I can walk up right before you. That I will die to the thing that you're revealing to me within myself. Yes. That I can stay before you and walk up right. When I'm living a whole life inside of him. Yeah. When you know that your heart is designed the more of God. And you just say, Lord, I'm going to take in your word. And Lord, if it, if it cuts me, Lord, let it cut me. Yeah. Oh, Lord, but I can die to that thing. that Because I know when I've been cut, glory to God, I know that the word will come in and begin to heal, glory to God. It will begin to heal and take me to another level inside of you, glory to God. So, Lord, glory to God, let your word continue cutting me, God. And let your word continue purging me, God. I thought I had it together, Lord. I thought I was doing right, but your word came in and began to show me a different way. So, let me grab a hold to that which is showing me. When our heart is sincere, when it's sincere, then you're saying, Lord, your will be done. Your will, God. Nothing else, God, but your will. When it's, when it's truly sincere, glory to God, sincere that's seeking him. As Lord says, Lord, all within me, God, just want the more of you. Yeah. All within me, God, just want that your statues to live within me. Your statues, Lord God, I will walk in day by day. Your statues, what I will meditate day by day. Your statues, what I will follow day by day. Your statues, what I will continue, Lord, being before me. Your statues, God, what I continue meditating on. God, your statues, while I'm in my dreams, I will dream of dreams of heaven. I will dream of dream, dreams that uh, take me to a pl another place inside of you. Uh, I will dream of dreams, Lord God, that when the the enemy comes in, glory, even while I'm asleep. My mind is stayed on living right before you. My mind is stayed on the standing right before you. My mind is standing in a place and said, Lord, your will be done. Even when my thoughts try to take me to a place that's outside of your will. But I grab a hold to those thoughts and put those thoughts upon my feet. I know that the thoughts are not like you, God. I put those things upon my feet because the Bible tells me to tread on serpents. Hallelujah. Yeah. To tread on the thing that the enemy tried to come and get me outside of your will. Yeah. The treading on those things. Yeah. Seeking God yeah. with a sound mind. Mm. With a sound mind. Day by day I talk, as we take in his word. Mm. As we hear, glory to God, the word of God. Yeah. Our mind begin to be sound, glory to God. Yeah. It begins to be washed clean, glory to God. Be those things, those old thoughts that we had before, yeah. they're not there anymore, yeah. glory to God. Even when they try to come back and even when the enemy try to bring something back, Lord, he try to bring some old ways back. He try to even bring some new things back. He try to get us to think and dwell on some things of the past. He try to get us to think on some things that outside of the will of God. But we got a sound mind, God. A sound mind that has been in the process of going through the changes, glory to God. A taking it out of God has given us. The taking the word that God has given us. The taking the word that God has given us and that we can come to a place with a sound mind. And we don't just reject the word that comes forth. We don't just reject that with its truth. We don't just put off something that is truth. We don't just put to the side that with its truth. Yes, we don't just take in our own thoughts and this is how I feel and this is how I want to handle things. So I'm going to do it my way. We don't do that no more. Why? Because we have mind has been renewed. And that sound mind, glory to God. A sound mind. A sound mind comes from day by day. Letting that what God has for us. The word of God washing us, our mind clean, changing the way we think, changing the way we handle things. 
Glory to God. In verse 2, he says, Blessed are, blessed are they that keep his testimonies mm -hmm. and seek his will mm -hmm. with their whole heart. Glory to God. Yes. Keeping your testimonies mm -hmm. and keeping, seeking God mm -hmm. with your whole heart. Mm -hmm. What is my testimony? Mm -hmm. We heard testimonies on this morning, glory to God, for what God has done. Yes. Yes. Testimony that God has saved, God has made whole, God changed, glory to God. Our testimony, glory to God. Keep me that testimony knowing when the enemy comes our way. Our testimony, glory to God, will keep us in our right mind, glory to God. Our testimony will cause us to remember about what God has done back then, glory to God. Remembering that God is the same God yesterday and today and forevermore, glory to God. So if he did it for me then, glory to God, he's going to do it for me tomorrow, glory to God. But all we got to do is just allow our testimony to go forth, glory to God, that our whole heart will continue to say, Lord, your will be done. Because I'm seeking you with my whole heart, with nothing else but with my whole heart, glory to God. Oh, our testimony. Keeping our testimony. Oh, that his will can continue being done with our life. Yeah. Oh, we know that he saved us, glory to God. Yes. We know he brought us out of some things, yes. glory to God. Can he do even the more, glory yes. to God. Oh, I'm a living testimony, he can do the more, yes. glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Living testimony, each and every one of us are living testimony that he can do the more. Why? Because we are yet still standing. Those things that the enemy tried to take us out, glory to God, we are yet still standing. So he has done the more, glory to God. Oh, but if we get to him in such a way, that our whole heart is seeking him day by day, day by day. That our whole heart is seeking him day by day. Or we will see greater miracles be performed right before our eyes with our own life, glory to God. Why? Because he is doing it, glory to God. And verse 3 goes on and says, They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Glory to God. I was just on the job a few days ago, and a young man was just telling me, but, you know, I play gospel music and I play it out loud so everybody can hear it and kind of enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But I guess it was three days now. Mm -hmm. And the young man said, you know what, well, can we listen to something else? Mm -hmm. He was upset, though. He was kind of mad. <laughs> he was oh, so upset. He said, man, I can't listen to that stuff no more. I don't want to hear that stuff no more. I haven't heard it for three days. I can't take that no more. Uh -huh. And I begin to listen. I begin to think to myself. And I begin to explain to him. Do you understand in heaven? They listen to it all day long. They're praising God all day long. So if you can't take three days, glory to God, what you going to do in heaven? That's going to be a comfortable place for you, glory to God. Oh, my God, glory to God. Three days, glory to God. I'm tired of it. Oh, my God. But we got to understand where we are. And I was trying to help the young man to understand, bro. You got to understand what you're saying with your own mouth, glory to God. Your testimony is saying that I can't take no more. Your testimony says that heaven is going to be an uncomfortable place, so that's not a place that I want to go. Your testimony out of your own mouth is saying, God, I love you for just a little bit, but God, I can't take no more of what you have to say to me. I can't take it. I can't deal with it anymore. Begin to say with our own testimony, our own mouth, I don't want no more, glory to God. He began to say, I don't want no more of that gospel music, no more. Glory to God. And the other guy began to say, man, just put on your headset like I do all the time. <laughs> I tell you, glory to God. Oh, my God. But our own testimony. But we say that we love God. We say that we want the Lord's will to be done with our life. But then on the other hand, we have a testimony to say, I can't take no more. Three days has been more than enough. But the Savior, glory to God. Hallelujah. He was gone for three days, glory to God. He suffered, glory to God, before that, glory to God. Hallelujah. For the cost of our life, glory to God. For us to be whole, glory to God. And we can't take three days, glory to God. He said they found no iniquity in them, glory to God. What is iniquity? Wickedness. Unrighteousness. Being unjust. Just being evil, glory to God. Just having it your way. Doing what you want to do in spite of what God say do. That's wickedness. What you want to do in spite of what God say do. I'm going to do it my way because this is how I've been all my life. I can't change. I've been like this all my life. And so I can't change and there can't be no difference. God is going to go. He was going to receive me because he understands. He understands me because God say I'm okay where I am because he understands. I ain't perfect. Glory to God. 
Oh, but we don't want to live there. That's a place of torment, glory to God. That's a place that you're trying to do, right? But then you're being torment because you're saying that you can't do better. With your own mouth, you're saying that you cannot do better. But the Bible says, glory to God, he received those who don't have iniquity within them. You know, many times we look and say, we, we say that we, the robber is somebody who's wicked or the person who do, does a child molest, he's wicked. Mm. You know, we look at the person who, you know, killing people, they're wicked. Mm. But glory to God, just rebelling against God is wickedness. Amen. Just barely rebelling against the ways, of the statutes yes. of God. That's wicked, glory to God. That's what to send us to a place that God has not called us to go. That's going to send us to a place of any, even living here on earth, glory to God, of tormenting, glory to God, day by day. The enemy is tormenting us because we have a double standard, because we have a double mind, because we don't have that sound mind that the Bible says that we should have. We've been tormented, glory to God, because we want to do the right thing, but we still want to do the things that we want to hold on to. We still want to have that window open just in case the opportunity comes. Oh God, I can do what I want to do. We still want to have that window open just because, just in case I want to do what I really want to do. Glory to God. And then still say, Lord, I'm saved. Still say, I'm saved. Having that window just in case, glory to God. The opportunity to go, God, arise, glory to God. Just in case, glory to God. But we got to have a sound mind saying, Lord, my mind is, my mind is sold out, glory to God. My heart is seeking you. There ain't no just in case. There ain't no opportunity that's going to take me outside of your statue. There ain't no opportunity that's going to take me away from you. There's no opportunity because, Lord, I'm sold out to send yes to your will. Sold out to send your will be done. Yes, I am blessed and highly favored. Blessed not by the standards of the world, but blessed, glory to God, because you said I'm blessed. You said, glory to God, because you have found favor, glory to God, within me. You have given me your peace. Oh, it surpasses all understanding. Oh, that I can walk upright. Walking upright, glory to God. Walking upright, doing away, glory to God, all those things that's, that's wicked, glory to God. Doing away from anything, glory to God. That's rebelling against the statues of heaven, the statues of our Father, the statues of our Lord and our Savior. Glory to God. And verse 3 says, They also do no iniquity walk in his way. They walk in his way. Thou hast, number 4 says, Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precept, precept diligently. He has commanded us. Commanded us. Yeah. Glory to God. It's just not just the pastor just saying those things. Glory to God. It is just not the pastor just trying to tell us how to live right and show us how to live right and trying to show us the purpose of how to live right and why we should live right. He has commanded each and every one of us that call on his name. Glory to God. Commanded us to live right. Glory to God. Commanded us. Oh, so it's not a choice. Glory to God. We don't have the option, you know, to choose this day. Uh, you know, this day I'm going to do what I want to do. And tomorrow I'm going to do what God wants me to do. He has commanded us, glory to God, diligently, glory to God. Oh, not just the six hours of the day, but the 24 hours of the day, glory to God. Oh, not just a few minutes of the day, but all day long, the 24 hours of the day, glory to God. Oh, he has commanded us, glory to God, to walk up right before him. Hallelujah. So if he commanded us to do something, glory to God. I believe that we can do it, glory to God. We have to understand that we can do that what he has commanded us to do. Oh, glory to God. Yeah, I heard the Bible say, glory to God. It is finished, glory to God. And all that needs to be done has been done. Hallelujah, glory to God. Oh, so it is finished, glory to God. We can walk up right before him. Hallelujah, glory to God. Oh, verse 5 says, Oh, that my ways were directed and kept, well, let me read that again. Oh, that my ways mm -hmm. were directed to keep thy statutes. Yeah. Oh, that my ways mm -hmm. are directed to keep his statutes. Yeah. Yeah. His statutes. What is his statutes? Mm -hmm. Just his word. His word. Just his word. Mm -hmm. And since I call you to live right, yeah. I give you power on high. Yeah. Give you the Holy Ghost power to live right. He the power of uh, God, the power of the Holy Ghost to, to walk up right, to, to deny the flesh. Yeah. That you don't have to just yield in to everything that the enemy come your way with. Yeah. That you don't have to say yes to whatever he comes with. But you can truly resist the flesh. Yeah. That you can truly say, I'm, I'm going to walk up right. I'm not going to go do that. 
that you can truly practice this thing day by day, glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. We can practice how to walk, walk up right before God day by day. We don't have to try to do it all in one day, but we can practice it one day at a time, glory to God. We can practice it, glory to God. I can practice saying, yes, Lord, <laughs> day by day. Yeah. I can practice, glory to God, to saying, Lord, I, I'm not going to go do that with my mind, just with that thought just came to my mind. That thought that just came to my mind, I'm not going to go do that with my thought. That thought tried to get me to go do. Yes. But Lord, I'm going to practice saying no, glory to God. There was a time that, you know, they, they were saying, just say no, glory to God. Yeah. Just say no to the flesh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. With the power of God that invested, that has been invested inside of us. Hallelujah. The power of God, glory to God, he has invested inside of us. We can say no, glory to God. Yeah. Oh, not by the strength that we have, glory to God. Oh, we will never be strong enough in our own strength, glory to God. But with the power of God that he has invested with inside of us. Oh, we can overcome the flesh. Hallelujah. We can walk within the statues, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Why? Because he has commanded us to do so. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. He is worthy to receive praises. Worthy to be lifted up, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Then shall I keep, then shall I not be ashamed yeah. when I have respect unto all mm. thy commandments. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We won't be ashamed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, whatever the enemy kind of come our way, we won't be ashamed. Yeah. But we will say, Lord, glory to God. Mm. God will have my, I will let my testimony go forth. Mm. Oh, that we will speak the power with the power of God. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Truth that was inside of us. Mm. We will tell the truth, glory to God. Yeah. Oh, no matter, glory to God. Yes, sometimes people may be cut, glory to God, but they need to be cut so they can be healed with the word of God. People may not want to hear what you have to say, glory to God, but we got to speak it anymore, anyway, glory to God. Why? Because we begin commanded, glory to God, oh, to testify about his goodness, to testify what he has done for us, to testify what he can do for another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And verse 7 says, I will praise thee with uprightness of heart. Uprightness of heart. That means my heart is pure. Does that mean I have a desire to say, Lord, your word truly be done in my life? That means say, Lord, my heart is uprightness. I'm having a heart, Lord. I want to say, Lord, your will be done. Lord, that's a, that's a heart that's truly to say, Lord, I surrender all. It's not my will anymore. I surrender all. I give you all a heart of uprightness. It just says, Lord, nothing else but you. When, Lord, when you see me, I want you to see a reflection of you, Lord. I want you to see you inside of me, God. Go righteous heart, glory, God. When I shall have learned thy righteousness. When we have learned his righteousness. When we learn how to live right. When we learn how to walk up right. When we have learned, glory. How do I learn? Oh, by hearing the word of God. How did I learn, glory to God? By being in somebody's church being fed. How did I learn? By taking it and studying the word, glory to God. That I may show myself approved. How did I learn when I go before God in prayer, glory to God, and I hear what he has to say? I'm listening, glory to God. Sometimes we just got to listen to what he has to say. How did I learn when I begin to speak, glory to God, and say, Lord, I thank you today, God. I thank you, Lord, for the testimony that I do have. How did I learn when you glory to God? Oh, when we hear the word of God. How do we learn? When we don't reject that what we have learned, glory to God. We don't reject when truth comes our way. Oh, glory. It may not come like we always wanted, but when it does come in truth, when it does come in righteousness, when we receive it and say, Lord, thank you for truth. Thank you, glory to God. Oh, for teaching me your ways. Thank you, Lord, for teaching me your statutes. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Verse 7 says, mm. I will keep thy statutes for my for uh, forsake me not. Glory to God. Mm. Oh, he will not forsake us. Yeah. We are as we continue keeping his, his statutes. Yeah. Where within all shall a young man be clean? Mm. His ways. Mm. Taking care, taking heed thereof according to the word of God. Amen. How shall we be clean? Through the word of God. Through the word of God. Only way. How shall we be clean? Through the word of God. Through the word of God. Only How shall we be clean? Through the word of God. Through the word of God. How shall we be clean? Through the word of God. 
Amen. Not by our own thoughts. Amen. Not by what we come up with. Amen. But with the word of God which is true. Hallelujah. The word of God day by day as we study the word of God. As we hear the word of God we shall be clean. His will shall be done. Glory to God. Day by day we die to the flesh. That the word of God can have its way. Verse 10 says, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wonder from thy commandments. In verse 11, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Glory to God. Hiding the word in our heart, glory to God. Taking the word, glory to God. Hiding it in our heart. So when the appointed time comes, when the trials and tribulations come, when everything breaks out in the home, come, glory to God. Oh, we grab a hold to that what's inside of us. Oh, but if we don't have nothing to grab a hold to, glory to God. Oh, glory to God, we will sink, glory to God. It's what we get. We're then at that point, at that point in time, we got to fall on our knees and say, Lord, I don't have anything. But Lord, I heard a word that say that you will keep me if I praise you. If I lift you up, I heard a word say that, Lord, you will sustain me if I will lift you up. So, Lord, I repent for anything that I have done. And I'm saying, Lord, thank you, Lord, for letting me here be in a place that I can still call on your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for letting me be able to call on your name to be saved, to begin that process of being whole, to begin that process, glory to God, that mind can be renewed, begin that process, I can be sound, have a sound mind. To begin that process and continue on that process. Glory to God. Glory to God. He's doing it day by day. The word that we hide in our heart, glory to God, that we won't sin against him. God is doing new things. New things, glory to God. Not new things to him, but new things to us. Every day is a new thing. Every day is a new day. Every day is another day that we're learning how to live right. Every day that we're learning that our ways, glory to God, is not always God's ways. Every day he's revealing to us, glory to God, how to go, what way we should go. Every day he's revealing to us the shortcomings that we can pull down the strongholds. Every day he's revealing to us that his love surpasses your own natural ability, your own understanding. Every day, glory God, he's building to us that he has not forsaken us, that he is still with his arm wide open and says, come to me. Tomorrow is not promised. Glory to God, we may continue putting it off to tomorrow and say, we have tomorrow. You know, we heard the stories in the Bible. There was young men that, you know, said, I got to go do this and I got to go do that. I have this to do and I have that to do and and I want to take care of something. I may miss out on something that's coming my way, but tomorrow is not promised to no one. Amen. Having a made up mind, just to say, Lord, your will be done. Having a made up mind that we won't be tormented, that we won't be tormented here on earth, that we won't be tormented on this side of heaven. We have to surrender all. The Bible tells us, to just said, that we have to seek him with our whole heart. Seeking him with all that we have. Amen. Really willing to give up our own desires to follow him. Amen. Willing to give up our own agenda to follow him. Amen. Willing to say, Lord, I, want to, I just want all of you. Lord, there's many things I wanted in the past, Lord, but those things have not blessed me. Those things that have not given me a satisfaction. Those things that have not satisfied my soul. Glory to God. So we want to say, Lord, I'm surrendering all. Amen. You know, we all have been through something in the past of our life. And we grabbed a hold to something that was not godly. Amen. And we understand when we grabbed a hold to those things that it did not take us to, to a place that we were satisfied. It didn't take us to a place that it completed us. It didn't Amen. take us to a place that we had a peace Amen. that surpasses what this Bible is talking about. Amen. His peace that he gives. Amen. That's the peace that we want. That's the peace that we want to continue seeking. His peace. Giving up all of our personal agendas. And says, Lord, your will be done. I want to invite you out there even in the air. As you have heard the word. 
God wants to bless us. Mm. Not like the world says we can be blessed. But he wants to bless us with his prosperity yes, to surpass us what we can ever imagine. Yes, a prosperity mm. that our soul stays blessed. Mm. It's not determined on what we have or what we don't have. Mm. It's not determined on the title that we have on our name. Mm. It's not determined what we're standing in right now. It's not determined how much we have or how little that we have. It's not determined the color of our skin. It's not determined on any standard of this world, but it's determined on the, based on the word of God, Amen. his word. Amen. And all you gotta do is receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm. Seeking him, surrendering all. And anyone in this house, glory God, let's just say, Lord, I want to surrender all. Lord, I surrender all. All we got to do is lift up our hands and say, Lord, I surrender all to you. Lord, whatever was going on yesterday, whatever happened this morning, whatever happened even an hour ago, Lord, I want to surrender all to you. I'm putting it all behind me, God. And everything, Lord, the enemy tried to destroy me with God. I'm giving it all to you. Amen. As I surrender my life to you, I surrender all that your will can be done. Amen. Glory to God. And I want to lead into a sinner's prayer. Yes. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. We surrender all, God. And if we have sinned against you, we want to repent of our sins that we may stand in the right place with you. Yes. That, Lord, that you can hear our prayers. Lord, that you will wash us clean. That you begin to do a new work inside of us, oh God. That your will will be done in our life. We surrender all to you as we surrender you to surrender our will to you, oh God. We surrender all and we receive you as our Lord and our Savior. That your will can be fulfilled in our life. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing and what you have done and what you're about to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. You're in the family now. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.